Hey, Pat and Chris back for another episode of Shop Talk. Today, diving deeper into Ranger. Chris, what are we covering off on? Well, today we're gonna to talk about the difference between mid-size Rangers and full-size Rangers. If you're on the fence, can't decide which Ranger is right for you, hopefully you'll watch this episode and you'll have a better idea of which one you want. We're gonna talk through five reasons why you might want a mid-size, five reasons why you might want a full-size. All right, well, let's jump into it. First big difference between mid-size and full-size Rangers is a mid-size Ranger is gonna have two seats wide, or this is a crew model, so it's got four seats in it. That's different than the full-size, which will have three seats wide or, or six seats on a crew. Now, the real advantage to having a vehicle that's a little bit narrow in width is you can fit in a lot tighter spaces. So if you get a two-seat vehicle, this will even fit in the back of a lot of pickup trucks. Uh, you need a smaller trailer. Um, but ultimately, this vehicle is gonna fit better, um, you know, whether it's in your garage or your barn, um, and that's a really big benefit for a lot of our customers. Yeah, it's also a lot nicer if you're, you know, maybe doing some bushwhacking on your own property, you gotta cut your own trails in, and you got some narrow trees to work through, you know, you don't have to worry about scraping the sides as much. Yeah, that's, that's another really good point, is this vehicle is gonna be way more maneuverable with how narrow it is, so especially if you're coming off of an ATV, say you're buying your first side-by-side -side and all of your trails are cut <laughs> wide enough for an ATV, this is a nice transition before you get into a wider vehicle because it takes a lot of work to make those trails a few inches wider. So our, our mid-size vehicles like this one is, is 56 inches wide with outdoors and it's 58 inches wide with doors. Um, that compared to a full size is, is a few inches narrower and, and it makes a big difference. Yeah, and I think the other thing too, while you're going through those tight terrains, you also get a little smaller turning circle, right? Yep. Yep. So it makes it a little easier to just, you know, dance your way around through those tight areas. Yeah, and, and that can be important. So, you know, say you're a deer hunter up in the northeast, you got really tight woods. This is going to help you to maneuver through that better. Um, if you're a farmer and you're cleaning out stalls or you're driving around your barn, um, this vehicle is going to be way easier to turn around in a barn than a full-size vehicle. So that maneuverability, that compact size is one of the benefits of a Ranger overall, but it's even better as, as you're in a mid-size Ranger versus a full-size Ranger. Right. Yeah. Even, even getting this thing into the shop and get it in position today, we didn't quite have to Austin Powers this thing around yep, so yep, bad. Yep. <laughs> And as you guys can see, I mean, this is a two seat wide vehicle, but you know, we're, we're two full size guys. There's plenty of room in here. Yep. Um, so it's, you know, you can only fit two people in the front of it, but there's still plenty of room. Um, and it's still a really comfortable cab. So this is our mid-sized vehicle, but you can see it's still got a really big dumping box on the back. So you pull this lever, it's got a full dump box. This is a 500 pound box. Uh, it's pretty good in size and you can fit a lot of stuff in here. We've got our lock and ride system in the back. So these holes are actually made to fit uh, Polaris accessories that can work in there. We've got all sorts of different stuff that you guys can find online. Um, there's also some features for, you just wanna make your own storage things. So we've got pockets in here for dimensional lumber. Um, you can make your own steak sides. Yeah, thank you for demonstrating that. <laughs> Um, that can be awesome. Like say you're using your Ranger to haul wood at your cabin or um, stuff like that. You know, you can build some real simple steak sides for not a lot of money and then you can stack wood a little bit higher. Right. Um, you can put 500 pounds of, of firewood back here. So it's, it's perfectly capable. It's, it's a really good machine. Yeah, I think one of the other cool things that I find is a lot of time I'll be carrying stuff in five gallon pails and you can see there's circles on the floor that you can drop your buckets right down. And then if you want to cut some two by dimensional lumber, you can actually slot them into these spots to actually hold your buckets up forward a little so you don't have to worry about them sliding around on you. And then you've got sp spots where you can like, you know, throw a strap around the outside. Um, you've got the tie downs on the floor here so you can really, you know, secure things down if you're gonna have to get off road a little bit too. Yeah, the more time you spend with your Ranger, the more little things you'll find that we added to this. Um, and this is, um, we're a few generations in now, so we've learned a lot about these and we got a lot of small little features hidden. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, even the, even the cup holders in the tailgate are a nice one, you know, when you're sawing wood and you need a spot to set your beverage down. Yep, you're sitting back here, maybe after a hunt, hanging out with your buddies, it's nice to have a spot where you can put a drink. Um, and like Pat mentioned, these slots where you can add dimensional lumber, I love having these things during turkey season. Um, you know, we'll, we'll put a couple dividers in here and then you can keep heavy stuff separated from lighter weight stuff. Like if you don't want to crush a decoy or something like that, it's really nice, um, pretty simple to do. All right, so Chris, you mentioned this box can hold 500 pounds, but there's gotta be some other key, you know, specs that people are gonna wonder about. Engine, towing, you know, can I put a plow on the front of this thing? So just dial us in a little. What is this, this mid-size Ranger capable of? 
Yeah, it's a really capable vehicle. This has got a single cylinder, 44 horsepower engine, and it's capable of, like Pat said, you put 500 pounds in the box. It's also got a two inch receiver hitch back here. This vehicle can tow 1,500 pounds. So if you're launching the boat, pulling your dock in and out, um, hauling a feed cart, all that kind of stuff, this vehicle is gonna be really capable. You can haul 1,500 pounds yeah. with it. Just make sure you put it in low gear when you're hauling 1,500 yep, yep. pounds, right? If you guys watched our episode, yes, follow our tech tips. So we talked about the back of the vehicle and all the capability. We also have some really cool stuff on the front of this vehicle. So this bumper's got integrated plow catches. So it's really simple. You just line this thing up with, with um, these bars, grab that rack and pull it forward, and you got a plow on your vehicle. So that's really awesome if you live up north like we do and it's super cold and we got a bunch of snow on the ground, makes it super easy to plow. We've also got this thing set up for accessories, so you can really easily mount a winch. Uh, we also have our pulse electrical system. So this right here is called our pulse bus bar, and that's a spot where you can just plug accessories in. You're not like splicing into your wire harness or doing anything crazy like that, but say you need to put a light bar on your vehicle to get a little bit more light output or want to add some other electronics, it's super simple on a Ranger, and you get that on this SP570. Uh, you'll also get on that Ranger 1000 that we're going to show you in a little bit. Yep, and it's pretty sweet too that you get three positions right from the factory. You know, if that's not enough, you can actually buy a bigger, bigger pulse bar and extend this out to six positions. Yep. Really really easily yeah it's a cool feature yeah I think one of the other things people often ask on these midsize you know when you're looking at the front end maybe you, you drop a plow on you had all that weight hanging out the front like it's still really easy to compensate for that you know if you jack the front end up you can still rotate and uh, increase the preload on your springs on these struts so one of the other differences on these midsize all the Ranger 570s have these strut front ends so it makes it a little simpler a little easier to design um, uses a few less bushings so you don't quite have as many parts to wear out and it's one of the things that actually allows us to, you know, keep the price point on these midsize down a bit, right, Chris? Yeah, so it's still a great off-road vehicle, really capable independent front suspension, but like Pat was talking about, you know, you can get a Ranger SP570 starting under 12 grand. So it's a really affordable um, segment to get into. And if you need to do something like buy a trailer, or maybe you want to put accessories on it like this vehicle, you can use some of the money you save getting in a midsize to spend it on some of those other things. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we got a North Star sitting here. So this is not the 12 thousand dollar midsize right yeah this, so this has got a few more bells and whistles on it right? just a few more yep so like i said i mean you can get one of these vehicles starting at 12 um but this is the north star version which comes from the factory with a bunch of cool stuff so like you can see it's got a full cab um, it's also got a heater from the factory so you get a heater um, also some really cool stuff like USB charging. It's got 12 volt outlets. It has a, um, a battery charge port as well. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Like there's a, a slot up here you can put your phone in, which is pretty cool. Um, but really nice vehicle, bunch of premium stuff that you can add to it, but still starting at a, a low price. And that's a huge benefit with this model. Yeah, so Chris, I think I gotta kick you out to show these folks what's underneath. Oh the yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> so it's a small vehicle and it's narrower in width, but check out that storage bin. Yeah, I mean, it's full size across the whole width of the cockpit. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. And even the back seat's got, you know, one that's almost as big. You know, little bits cut out for maybe the battery and the fuel tank, but you got a ton of storage space in these midsize Rangers under the seats. So really cool feature set, you know, along with the glove box and kind of the standard side holders and everything else you get. So there's there's a lot of space to be able to store, not just outside the cockpit, but in the cab on these too. Yep, so a little bit smaller in width, but still a ton of room in these vehicles. So maybe just to wrap it up, we'll talk through, you know, what are the high level benefits of, of the midsize vehicles? And we talked about the size, so the smaller width, the added maneuverability, still a ton of capability with that big dump box, the hauling and towing, the plow, uh, really good starting at price point, but also a bunch of premium stuff you can add. So from the factory, uh, all the accessories you can add to it, you can still build one of these things up to be a pretty awesome machine. Let's jam over this full-size Ranger and kind of show everybody what it's like having three seats instead of just two. Yeah, so the big difference you get with a full-size vehicle is, is wider, way room in your cab, a little bit of elbow room for us. Whoa. But you know what? Like if we had to haul somebody else and I was riding in the middle here, 
I still got enough space. Yep. You know, we might be bumping shoulders a little here, yep. but there's still room for somebody else full size sitting right next to me in this thing. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, I use this feature in my full size Ranger, like when we're out deer hunting. So if I got to go pick up my dad and one of my uncles, um, right. you know, all three of us can get in the cab. We've got room for everybody. I'm not taking multiple trips in and out of the woods. Uh, it can be nice if you're, you know, you're working on projects, going trail riding with your family, you need an extra seat. Right. Um, not only is it nicer when you just got two dudes in here like this, but also, you know, you can also fit three. So it's true. It's yeah, a nice I mean, feature. It's just, just roomier. Yeah. I mean, I've got a family of five, so I'll ride, you know, with my wife and I in the front and three boys across the back seat. And, you know, even though they're almost as tall as I am these days, they all fit just fine. So yeah, yeah it's really nice. Obviously starting out, we still got a two inch receiver on the back of this rig, right? But towing capacity changes on the full size. Yep, when you go to a full size, a Ranger 1000 or a Ranger XP 1000, you get that same two inch hitch receiver, but it can haul an additional thousand pounds. So it's 2,500 pounds of towing. Uh, if you got a big ice house that you're hauling out onto the lake or a little bit bigger trailer, maybe you're launching your boat with your Ranger, that added towing capability could be one of the reasons that you need to step up into a full size Ranger. Yeah, nice. And, and just looking at the box, right? We got a wider vehicle now, so we actually have a, a wider box, right? So you got a little more capacity here too. Yeah, so that part's obvious, right? The box is just physically bigger. You can fit more stuff in it, but it's also got twice the capacity as you think about a Ranger 1000 or XP 1000. So if you're hauling bags of feed, if you're a farmer, you know, that's, that's 10, 50 pound bags of feed in a midsize fit 20 in a full size. You're taking less trips, you're just getting more done each time. Yeah, and I think one of the nice things too, like if you are hauling that kind of weight in the back, if you look down here at the shock mount in the rear, and we might be on the wrong side to really see it well, but you'll see there's a, a separate hole right here. You can actually take the upper shock mount and move it further outboard, which is gonna stand that shock more vertical, uh, which is actually gonna give you a little more spring preload. It's gonna help maintain your ground clearance when you're hauling really heavy loads. So, you know, if you are a utility user that's driving your full-size Ranger and hauling a lot of weight all the time, you can actually swap those shocks out. Now, if you're only doing it once in a while, you might leave them on the inboard side because you get a little little plusher ride having it set up kind of the way it is stock, like you, like you see it here. And yep, and you got that same preload adjustability too on, on all these shocks. So. Absolutely, yeah. So just like we talked on the, the, the midsize on the front, you know, jack your vehicle up and you can spin those those preload adjusters so you can get a little more a uh, little more spring in there, and you can do that both on the rear and on the front. Um, just like you can on the midsize, you know, a little different setup, but again, just make sure you jack the vehicle up to get the weight off that wheel when you go to adjust those. The other thing we should hit on while we're back here is just the difference in engine. So we make a full size vehicle that has the same engine as the SP 570, but the Ranger 1000 and the XP 1000 come with twin cylinder, a little bit higher output engine. So you get 61 horsepower on a Ranger 1000 or up to 82 horsepower as you go to an XP 1000. That's one of the key reasons you get more capability, more hauling and towing capacity, and, and you can get more done with the bigger Rangers. Absolutely, and if people have questions, right, we already did a video kind of comparing the difference between the single and dual overhead cam motors. So. Yeah, if you watch this video and you decide that you need to get into a full-size Ranger and you haven't seen our video comparing the 1000 and the XP 1000, go watch that one next. We're gonna get way more in depth on the difference between them. All right, let's walk up to the front, check out some of the differences and reasons that you might actually want the full-size Ranger. So we're gonna start out looking at wheels and tires here. So this is a uh, Ranger 1000 Premium with a 26 inch tire, but we range from 25 all the way up to 29s when you get up to the upper end Ranger XPs. And as you grow that tire size, you tend to get more ground clearance, which is gonna give you more off-road capability. Um, one of the other big differences on the front end is this dual A-arm setup versus the uh, strut setup that we showed you on the midsize. So this has also got a dual A-arm front suspension. So you can see you got a lower arm just like the strut style in the midsize, but we've got a separate upper arm and an individual shock and spring here. So the nice part about that is, is we can move those suspension points out into the wheel without having to worry about the shock bouncing off the tire and rim like we do with the strut. So that gives you a nice light steering effort even on the wider vehicle when you got bigger tires. So Chris, what are some examples of you know, off-road terrain or, or situations you might get into where this full-size setup is actually superior to the midsize? Yeah, if you're in really rough terrain, like think deep ruts, big obstacles, having that extra ground clearance and the dual A-arm suspension can help you to navigate those a little bit better. Uh, you guys know I like to use hunting examples. So we talked about the SP570 being a great vehicle for like deer hunting in the Northeast or you know, where we're at in Minnesota. So if you're going through tight trails, navigating tight woods, Midsize can be great for that. But if you're out west, elk hunting, uh, down in Texas, and you got really nasty terrain, 
jumping up to a full size that's got more ground clearance and a little bit more capable suspension can be a huge benefit in some of those more extreme situations. So this is the Ranger 1000, but we've got a whole lineup of full size Rangers. What are some of the differences people can expect or things they might want to upgrade into? Sure, we start with the Ranger 570 full size, which is sort of a combination of the midsize and full size. It's got the same powertrain, a very similar suspension setup to the SB570, but it's got the three seat width, a little bit bigger box, more towing, more hauling capacity. Then you can step up into this Ranger 1000, which is the vehicle right here. Um, that's when you get into the 1,000 pound box, 2,500 pounds towing, and you really get to the top end of the capability of a Ranger. As you step up from the Ranger 1000 into the XP 1000, that's where you can get an even more powerful engine for going even faster, and you can also get into even more premium stuff. Big one's air conditioning. So if you wanna get air conditioning on a Ranger, you wanna be super comfortable, you've gotta get into a full-size vehicle. That higher output engine um, is what runs the AC compressor. That's how we can run AC in a vehicle. And so if you want AC, gotta get into a full-size, gotta get into an XP 1000. There's a ton of other stuff that you can do on a full-size vehicle. So we talked about a lot of our accessory points, some of the bed integrations, like where you can put dimensional lumber, you can add lock and ride accessories, you know, the winch mounts, all that stuff. It's, it's all gonna apply on our full-size vehicles like the Ranger 1000 and the XP 1000. Um, and you can go really far. You can add the full plow setup on full-size vehicles. You can do the full cab, ride command, audio systems. We've got a whole system of cargo accessories and lock and ride stuff. We'd be talking to you guys for two hours if I tried to explain all the different things you can walk through. But as you go on the website and look around, there's a lot of different options that you can get on a full-size vehicle as well. All right, guys, so in recap, today we talked about five reasons why you might fit best in a mid-size Ranger, five reasons why you might want to step up to a full size. There's really no wrong answer. All Rangers are going to be awesome. Make sure you pick the right thing for what you're going to do with your vehicle. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We want to hear what else you guys want to learn about, and I'll see you again on the next episode of Shop Talk.